Well, 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 well. Remember when the entirety of the mainstream media was working together to celebrate the end of Twitter, X, formerly Twitter. Remember when they all worked together to publish articles and say that it's finally over. You don't have to use the Spaceship Man bads, um, the Spaceship Man's app anymore. It's over. It's over. You can finally use regular um, safe non-hate speech apps. That's right. Mark Zuckerberg, he's totally trustworthy and he totally doesn't sell your data and he's totally not a shill for the Democratic Party and he totally hasn't uh, you know, been accused of using the algorithm to make uh, terrible, terrible things happen and promote his preferred political candidates. He's never done any of that. It's so safe. Well, Threads has now lost more than 80% of its, of its daily active users. Even Mark Zuckerberg seems to think that it's over and we're gonna get into all that after a super quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Meta PCs. Look, you've been around, you know that I've been talking about Meta PCs for a very long time. In fact, it's the primary computer I use, but it's not just because they're a sponsor. It's for so many more reasons. They have fully customizable, configurable PCs, and all the hardest to find parts in stock and ready to go. They also have ready to ship PCs ready for you today. Here's a couple of reasons why I like Meta PCs. First and foremost, it's veteran ownership. Meta PCs is a veteran owned business. One of Meta's owners has served both in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a Purple Heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in Meta's operations center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. They offer financing. It has 100% US-based sales and support. And when you receive your PC, it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to get complicated and set things up. You just plug it all in and you're ready to rock. And on top of that, Meta PCs is offering you, my viewer, a huge discount when you use the link in the description or you use promo code THEQUARTERING. If you use my code at checkout, not only do you save money, but you support my content and a company that will not bow to cancel culture. So maybe you're not ready to pick up a new computer today, but when you are, remember to go to metapcs.com and use promo code THEQUARTERING to support me and to save money. And everybody wins. Threads is still missing features like a dedicated browser version and, a fun and any kind of functional search. We're only a month out since Meta released the Instagram tied Twitter Ender app, Threads. Since then, the time users have spent on the app tanked. Now, two separate data analysis firms say the number of users logging in each day on the app has similarly flatlined just a month after its release. Similar web. A digital intelligence platform shared its data with Gizmodo showing Thread's daily active users hovered around 49 million just two days after launch. By August 1st, just a week later, that number had cratered to just 9.6 million. Engagement is also way down from early on Thread's lifespan. Similar web's data shows time spent on the app in all available markets peaked July 6th at about 14 minutes a day but that time has been cut to just 2.3 minutes a day by August 1st. David Carr, Senior Insights Manager at, analysis, an analysis, at The Analysis Company, told us the engagement time based on the US on just US user data was slightly more favorable to threads, but not much. The app peaked at 20 minutes, but now it's keeping steady at only three minutes per user. According to market research from Sensor Tower, as CNN first reported later seen by Gizmodo, the daily active user count on threads is down 82% for when the app launched on July 5th to July 31st. And this, it's down even more since. According to Sensor Tower, the app was leveraging about 44 million daily active users at, at its peak as more folks sought a real Twitter alternative. By the end of the month, it was hovering at just 8 million. The company told CNN that Dow is falling at about 1% every single day. Sensor Tower also mentioned that engagement was down to just 2.9 minutes a day compared to 19 minutes and earlier in July. In the company's Q2 earnings call last month, Mark Zuckerberg said the company was seeing more people coming back daily than expected to threads. He added that they were focused on retention and improving, but they launched it way too early. They launched it way too early. Any idiot knows that. And you only get one bite at the apple. 
Like, that's just the truth of it. You get one bite at the apple. That's it. You get one chance, just like Eminem said, mom's spaghetti. Back during its 15 minutes of fame, Threads was leveraged as the fastest growing platform in the history of apps, hitting 100 million user signups in less than a week after launch. Sensor Tower's own data shows that still one of the top downloaded apps on both Android and iOS, Meta has been adding much requested features to Threads, such as proper chronological following feed. Along with post translations, the app is still missing features inherent to the Twitter experience, such as search, which I can't believe they launched without that, uh, that can find topics as well as users, trending topics, and direct messages. Again, these are table stakes stuff. Table stakes stuff. And they gave up and they just never had it. They never had it. They never had any interest in having it. Having it. I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Literally doomed from the start. It was clear from Thread's launch that users were desperate for a Twitter alternative away from owner Elon Musk's unending march to making toward making the platform pay to play Hexscape. But at the same time, Thread's started aim was to be Twitter with the rough edges shaved down, then covered, then uh, then over with pool noodles to make sure nobody gets hurt. Masari said Meta has tried to downplay news or potentially sensitive topics on its algorithmic feed. Can a fun-loving alternative counter Twitter's worsening atmosphere? Atmosphere potentially, but with Blue Sky waiting in the wings, having yet to see a wide-scale release. Threads may end up the same as Mastodon as a specialized micro-blogging site. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that, although copycat Zuckerberg isn't the type of person who feels safe about coming in second or third place. Just look at other app enders like Google Plus that attempted to take down Facebook. No, Google Plus lasted close to eight years before the company pulled the plug, but nobody ever used it. They tried to force us to use it with, uh, by integrating it to YouTube, and this is, you know, even according to CNN, Meta's rival struggling to keep users. I mean, the, the idea that like you have any kind of chance to launch this and you see and hope to get critical mass without even basic features is, is wild to me. Nobody wants to be on threads because it's boring. And also, by the way, it doesn't have any features. I mean, it's just, it, it's sure it's got advertisers. Advertisers want to put uh, their ads on threads, but they don't want to be where nobody is. Threads is rolling out new features, including ones that let users see their likes as the platform addresses its huge user slump. I mean, it's <laughs> Meta's Twitter clone was once the fastest growing apps in history. Doesn't it feel like just the other day? Just the other day, they said, Twitter is dead. It's over. Zuckerberg's done it. A hundred million users. I mean, it, it's like, it's it, it, no, but it, even the media, again, the app has already lost 80% of its daily active users, according to data. That was last week. It's worse than that now. This Threads post received more likes than on X for nearly 90% of brands, despite them having fewer followers. So brands, you know, Reuters received 6.5 times more likes on Threads, despite having 99% less followers. It's just because people have gotten sick of it on, on Twitter. It's like, oh, the New York Times is actually getting force fed to me. The reason brands get more likes on Threads than on Twitter is because Threads forces it on users. Any idiot can see that. Is it because it's because it forces it on users? Mark Zuckerberg suggests threads over Elon's X. I mean, yeah, right. Who would even if he had it on threads, who would even watch it? By the way, uh, side note, uh, I've got mad love for the, some of the products that Elon has made, but if he tries to fight Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, he will get destroyed. Like, it's just a fact. Mark Zuckerberg has been training aggressively for years. 
for years. I you know I hate the guy. I I won't give him my money. I don't want anything to do with him. But there is no chance Mark Zucker or uh, Elon Musk beats him in a fight. He just can't catch up. I mean, look at this article just yesterday from the mainstream media. Can threads overtake X, formerly known as Twitter? Experts weigh in. No. The launch of threads last month was an overwhelming success, analysts told ABC News. The app surpassed 2 million signups in the first two hours and across 100 million across five days. I wouldn't call that a success. It launch is not a success if nobody stays. User engagement, however, plummeted rapidly. We already know. Threads boasted 49 million. By the end of July, Threads retained just 8 million daily after users, down 82% from its peak. By comparison, Twitter or X has 238 million users. It's 238 million to eight. Are you kidding me? Why are you? I bet you, I'm pretty sure that um, Getter has more than 8 million users. I know that Truth's, I mean, X's or uh, Threads is orders of magnitude smaller than Truth Social. You know how the mainstream media talks about how Truth Social is a total joke and blah, 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 blah. It's way bigger than Threads. It says Threads carries significant advantages provided by its parent company, Meta, such as a wealth of user data, potential new adopters on related products, and a big budget. Yeah, how's that been working out for Facebook VR? And the metaverse. How many billions has Zuckerberg wasted on that and nobody cares about it? The media is still coping, but Threads has failed and it has no chance at coming back. I couldn't be happier.